Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremiah and I'm awaiting my third year as a biomedical science student at Singapore Polytechnic, which also makes this video a real test of my memory as it was exactly two years ago that was my freshman orientation program. But despite this glaring red flag, I would just like to make a video talking about my FOP experience, my freshman orientation program. Now I do understand that with the current situation, the FOP may be different for the freshies that are coming in, but I think it'll still be interesting comparing some of the elements that remain and honestly, it's just a good time recounting some of the stories on the experiences that I've been through. So for those that are going for orientation this next week, at least for SP students, hope you have fun. Anyway, I'll leave timestamps to this rather loosely based timeline, just recounting some of the key events and key memories that I've had. Right, so the coveted first day of poly. Now this day was an interesting day because obviously you're heading in with all this nervousness of, wow, I'm really beginning this new chapter of my life. So I remember coming into poly, entering through the gates because SP is connected to an MRT. I come in, I went to this massive auditorium where you go down the escalator and you just see this massive pool of people. They just split into rows. And then the good thing is, if you know your course, which you probably should, there's a big sign that states your course. So you just approach this booth and under the course, you'll meet some students there. You just tell them your name and they'll be like, okay, you belong to class, whatever, whatever. You just sit down. Now, this is the usual process for many students. But for myself, because I went through the DAE, the direct admissions exercise, I only knew of my acceptance the day before this day came. So it was a real mad rush, rushing in. I didn't even know my class, which made the whole process of giving me a class quite confusing, quite puzzling. I eventually got sorted out. Afterwards, you just sit on the floor in these lines and you basically don't know anyone. So you have to go through the awkwardness of, hey, do I want to be that person that's outgoing, trying to make friends or do want to be the shy person and they just sits there and minds their own business. There were some people that were really energetic and because these people really had friends coming in, so they were coming in groups and this was mainly because of the freshman orientation camp that they've been through, so they really knew each other. Anyway, after you sit down for a while, making some friends maybe with the people around you, asking their names, where they come from, the group leaders, so I'll call them GLs, they'll lead you to a classroom where I basically just walk across the school the first time seeing the school like hey oh this is where I'm gonna be for the next few years they bring you to a classroom with a buddy class which is your class and another class just group them together under one personal tutor and this personal tutor is basically like a form teacher of sorts except they don't chase you for assignments like a normal teacher does and what basically goes on in this first program is a welcome to the course like hi you're from the diploma in biomedical science I'm your teacher, these are the modules that we're taking, blah blah blah. And for us, because we're a science student, we got to take our lab code measurements for the first day. And basically that was it. There was no real introduction moment where you have to stand up in front of a group of 50 people and go, Hi, my name is Jeremiah and I like whatever. There wasn't that. So I suppose that safe on the awkwardness and it was on yourself really to go and make that friend. So to a certain extent, that's an introduction to poly life where there's a lot of independence needed. And afterwards, I actually asked the class, I gave around a piece of paper, just asked everyone to write down their names and their mobile numbers because there was no group chat going on and I thought it was essential. But yeah, that's basically the first awkward experience that we had with each other. A lot of the time, the first time I even spoke to a classmate was, hi, can I have your number because I want to create a WhatsApp group, not, hi, my name is Jeremiah, nice to meet you. But anyway, lessons learned. And that was basically the first day we headed home afterwards. So the next few days after the first day was split between activities planned out by the academic school. So the management committee that is basically a student body made up of different students around the same academic school. So for myself, with the School of Chemical and Life Sciences, they just plan activities for the entire school population versus your individual student chapters, which are seniors from your course that form up a committee that dedicates welfare just for those students. So the first memory of the activities that we did was basically we went to the auditorium again we sat down in just massive hall and then they saw they had activities from an external trainer that they hired and it was basically some team bonding activities trying to get you to know people from around this entire pool of people and this probably had activities that made up the most awkward moment of the entire orientation where they had music playing you know like musical chairs where you get up and walk around but instead for this you had to walk around and introduce yourself so imagine getting up in this auditorium of a thousand kids they play music and you just go around being hi my name is whatever. And it's not just limited to people of your court, it's really anyone. And you couldn't stop moving and she would actually call you out, the trainer, if she saw you stop moving or lumping together in a group. So yeah, this was an interesting experience. Awkward at times, nervousness at times. But I met people that I'm still friendly with today, so I guess that was beneficial. And it really opens you up and embraces this idea of meeting new people. Afterwards, you'll be brought within your class to another hall, the sports hall, where you play some games competing with 
peers from another class within the same course and peers from another course. I remember this one specific game where it involved cardboard. You put it on the floor, you sit on top of it, and you try and drag your bottom all the way to the other side. So it's kind of like pulling this card that doesn't move because there's no wheels. And along the way, so the two opposing teams are against each other, and you meet someone halfway through, you play a game of rock, paper, scissors, whoever wins gets to advance, and the objective is to run back, you give the cardboard to the next person, and the next person continues. So this was a really, really good team bonding game, which was fun, you know, there were laughs, it just brought out the competitive spirit, immediately ensued the class identity of, hey, we want to win. And also they gave you classic games where you were experiencing poly, I don't know the name of it, but I kind of remember how it's played. You sit in a circle, and then you clap along to the rhythm, and I think remembering uh, clapping along to the rhythm now actually instill some memory i think it's takoyaki something 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 basically at the end you go bang bang which is basically pointing out two people's names and then i think you have to call out their names so it's trying to get you to remember each other's names so yeah that was a really nice game trying to know people's names and it was a more fun game than just going hi my name is this and trying to memorize that all right and the last highlight of this entire orientation was a charity event that all poly students go under at least for the students in sp and this was under the president challenge Basically a charity trying to support communities around us that are in need. And what happened was that all polytechnic students actually went around in their polyfreshy tea. So this is what you'll get. So SP at the front, this red. And this dream bigger, I think that was the slogan back then. Freshman orientation program 2019. So you go around in your classes as a team, trying to collect donations at specific points that are allocated to you. So my team was actually pretty lucky. We got assigned to Dover which is basically just outside of school. So we just went across trying to get some donations from the residents that lived around the area, camping nearly around the MRT station. And honestly, I think that this was the best bonding experience that you could get because you would have to go around with these relative strangers that you've just met. You would have to go through the awkwardness of trying to ask for donations in public together. And in the loudness where there's no one coming around, you're forced to talk, you're forced to interact with each other. And obviously at certain times, you have to come together, strategize like, hey, I'm gonna camp there, you're gonna camp there, we're gonna swap at this timing, I'm gonna swap shifts. So it's just a really good bonding exercise. And after a while, while the donation dies off, we headed back into school, we went to a food court, we just sat around and we started playing our game. So we took out our phone, but instead of thinking that we're anti-social, we actually started playing this game on Telegram called Werewolf, which is basically like Mafia, for any that's played that before, where you're trying to root out the evil at the end of the night, preventing them from killing someone. It was kind of like Among Us before Among Us was a thing in person among us and afterwards during lunchtime there's a common tradition where all the classes would go out for food together and you would just see these swarms of poly kids just rushing to common restaurants like 18 chefs we went in just everyone in this same t-shirt so yeah that was an interesting memory i remember specifically because we had a certain time to report back to class where we had to give up our donations so they started counting the donations and we were running a little late and to further add to that one of the classmates had problem with their card so they couldn't enter the train station which meant that the whole class had to wait together and once we reached over we started sprinting back to our classroom so you just see the 17 kids and these red t-shirts these freshies and just juggling around these huge tin cans of coins making a lot of noise thank goodness none of the seniors were in school then because it was orientation happens a week before school starts so yeah that was an interesting memory a memory that's very instilled in my mind but we made it on time, we gave out the donations, and there was a count of the donations. Everyone celebrated how much we collected collectively as a group. And yeah, that was the end of orientation. The next time you see your class is basically the start of school and your first lesson. But overall, it just encapsulated a very nice memory of orientation where there was real class bonding and just a really great time. All right, and that was a very messy recount of my FOP experience. For those that are going through it this year or have been through it, I'm really curious how yours was, so do write it in the comments and Hopefully I can see how your experience was and maybe future batches that have to go through this semi-in-person, semi-online experience may also find that beneficial. Until then, you may want to check out this vlog on the freshman orientation camp that I helped out in, which was what I mentioned previously in the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>